I believe that good food is not hard, and today we're going to take a look at cranberry sauce. With just a few extra steps and a few new ingredients, we'll turn this afterthought into the highlight of your Thanksgiving Day dinner. Let's get started. First, the ingredients. We start off with 12 ounces of cranberries and two oranges, two small grapefruits, half a cup of white sugar, teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half teaspoon of clove. And then we're going to make a variation with a serrano pepper. And then we're going to make a third with just walnuts added. So those are all the ingredients that we need. Now first we want to zest our oranges and our grapefruits. And I like to use this zester here. It makes big, nice, long strips. It's very sharp. It does a great job with oranges. And then grapefruits. Sometimes it doesn't work on grapefruits. The skin's a little leathery or the, the actual fruit is a little... Um, mushy, but it's working here. And if, you, if it doesn't work, which sometimes it doesn't, I've had it happen to me, you can just use a sharp peeler. And I like this variety here. This one's pretty sharp, so I try to make the strips as long as possible as I'm pulling down. And you can see there's a little bit of pith on the peel, but there's a lot of holes through it. That's, that's perfect. We want as little amount of white pith as possible, but a little is no problem at all. And we'll just stack these up. And then I just try to cut them as thinly as possible. And it's okay if there's some bigger pieces because we're actually gonna boil these for 20 minutes. And then we're actually gonna candy them. And that will soften them but we just don't want big pieces like this, so we'll just cut those. So this is what it should look like. No problem. We'll just put these aside. And then um, let's chop up these walnuts. Now when you're cutting these walnuts, don't use a, a grinder. Just one pass through the nuts and if you see some big ones in there then just go ahead and grab those but we want these to be a little bit on the larger side we don't want them huge but we want people to know what they're eating and we want the texture as well and then we'll uh, dice up the serrano i just cut the one side peel it open and then i scrape out a little bit of the ribs and a little bit of the seeds but i want to keep some because i like things a little bit on the spicier side and then I just make small lines, keeping the pepper still whole. And we definitely want a very small dice on these because we don't want somebody biting into a, a big piece of pepper. So just run your knife through it once. Get that out of the way. And then I just finally chop it a little more that rib out of there. Okay, and then we just make sure it's a nice fine dice. And this is looking pretty good. We got a little grapefruit in there. We'll get that out of there. All right, that's it. That's what it should be. Nice tiny pieces. All right, so then we put the zest of the orange and the grapefruit on the stove. We cover it with water. We spill a little water there. Then we put it on high and then we do a little housekeeping. And then we bring it to a boil. And once it's to a nice rolling boil, we just wanna drop the heat down to a, a low boil. And then we wanna boil it for 10 minutes. And meanwhile, while that's boiling, we can just rip through the juicing of the two oranges and the two grapefruits, because we're gonna use that. That's gonna be our only liquid in this. So we're done juice so 10 minutes is up so we we just strain put it back on the stove again cover it with water bring it to a boil again reduce 10 minutes strain again now we're going to candy the orange and the grapefruit zest so we take a cup of sugar one and a half cups of water 
And then we just put that on medium heat to until the sugar's dissolved. Stir that up. Then you dump that zest back in here. Stir it up. Slap some sugar water out on the hot burner. A few moments later. We're back. So then you just uh, keep it at a low boil for 12 to 15 minutes. Then we strain it and save that liquid. Use it in cocktails. It's an orange simple syrup. And we dump the zest out onto a sheet pan. And we get a giant pitchfork and try to spread it out. And then once it's spread out, I just leave it on the counter or in the refrigerator uncovered for a couple hours just to dry out. And then here's a close-up. You see how translucent the orange and grapefruit peel have become? We've changed the flavor and the texture. So let's get to the sauce. Take those 12 ounces of cranberries. Throw them in there. Oops, one got loose. Get in there. Put it on high heat. Add your grapefruit and orange juice that you squeezed. Half a cup of sugar. Get everything mixed in and nestled down in the liquid there. And then only after like two or three minutes, this is what you'll see. You can see the berries are starting to pop. And if you listen, you can hear them popping actually. That's one. Pop. Pop. It's kind of cool. Watch this one. So now we're on medium low heat. And you can see this is a couple minutes later. You can see it's starting to still release a lot of juice and liquid. So we just have to keep making sure all those berries get popped and then start reducing the liquid down. It'll happen pretty quickly within three or four minutes. This is a couple minutes later and you can see it's tightening up a little bit. You can see there when I stir that you can see the bottom of the pan. That's how I know I'm done. Now we add the orange zest and grapefruit zest. One half teaspoon of clove, one teaspoon of cinnamon. I also had a half teaspoon of salt here, but it's not shown. Get that stirred in. Then you remember those cranberries from before that we saved, the raw ones, right at the end. We're going to throw those in. In. We just stir them in and that's it. And we're done. Pull it off the heat. Put it in a bowl. Leave it uncovered on the counter for two hours. And then wrap it and put it in the fridge. And definitely wait till overnight to try it. It's way better the next day. And then here's another version I made. And I threw the raw cranberries in at the end. And then... I simply just added, actually used half a serrano pepper because it was kind of hot. And then I made a third batch where I just added the walnuts at the end right after the cranberries. And it turned out the orange zest was my favorite the first night. And then after the peppers kind of mellowed the next day, the Serrano pepper actually became my favorite and the walnuts very good too. I, I suggest you try all two or all three And here we go. Here's the final product. I mean look at this Do yourself a favor Make these three Versions of cranberry sauce and put them on the Thanksgiving table and don't tell a soul and I guarantee you'll get at least five to ten comments about the cranberry sauce Appreciate you watching. 
like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll probably reply. Probably. And have a great Thanksgiving.